before going on lecture okay optimum design we already seen the theory as well as some numericals on unit number 6 optimum design you will get the one question one numerical for 10 marks in in same examination okay today we'll uh, solve some sppu ask question in previous examination okay see first uh, we'll see the statement of the numerical in a flight weight equipment a shaft is required to transmit a shaft is required to transmit 40 kilowatt okay power what is given power is given 40 kilowatt at 425 rpm speed is given 425 rpm the required stiffness of the shaft is 90 newton per meter newton meter per degree okay stiffness is given the factor of safety based on yield strength is share is 1.5 okay factor of safety is given and using the maximum shear stress theory design the shaft with the objective of minimizing the weight out of the following materials they have given here four materials okay which material is given alloy steel aluminium alloy titanium alloy magnesium alloy that four material the mass density material cost per unit weight tensile yield strength and modulus of rigidity g value is given for each material okay for alloy steel density is given 7800 material cost per unit weight is 7.5 then tensile yield strength syt value is given 450 and modulus of rigidity g is given 82 into 10 raise to 3 what we want to find out what will be the changes in design for the minimum cost what will changes in the primary equation then secondary equation and limiting equation already we have seen that three equation also we have seen that eight steps okay eight steps right we'll see here that steps and solve the given numerical with the help of that steps see this numerical was asked may 14 16 marks may 16 december 16 may 17 10 marks okay easily you can solve this numerical with the help of given data what is the given and what we want to the find out we'll check that power is given 40 kilowatt right speed is given 425 rpm keep as it is this two value then again k value is given 90 k is the stiffness is given this torsional stiffness is denoted by the k k is a 90 newton meter per degree is given then how to convert into the radian we required this value in radian you know that if you want to the convert degree value then multiply by here is a 180 by pi because pi by 180 means this is getting 180 in numerator and pi is denominator this you will get the value 19 to 180 divided by pi and factor of safety is denoted by the nf 1.5 then you know that uh, you can calculate if the power is given then you can calculate the torque okay uh, torque transmitted by the shaft you can calculate with the help of power formula you know the general formula for power p is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 into 1000 because we required the value in newton meter okay then put all the value and you will get the t is equal to 898.76 newton meter okay the torque to be transmitted by the shaft is you will get the 898.76 newton meter see we know that before going on uh, first step 
ओके प्राइमरी डिजाइन इक्वेशन यू नो द गिवन डेटा मीनिंग ऑफ दैट गिवन डेटा एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय व्हिच लेटर ओके रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट डब्ल्यू इज द वेट ऑफ द शाफ्ट दिस इज गिवन इन न्यूटन ओके समटाइम्स यू गेट द वेट इन टन देन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू दैट मास इन टू ऑल्सो न्यूटन रो इज द मास डेंसिटी ऑफ द शाफ्ट मटेरियल दिस इज गिवन के जी पर मीटर क्यूब बिकॉज ऑफ मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम देन डी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द शाफ्ट दिस इज गिवन इन मीटर एल इज द लेंथ ऑफ द शाफ्ट गिवन इन मीटर टी इज द टॉर्क टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड बाय द शाफ्ट दिस इज गिवन न्यूटन मीटर राइट देन कंबाइंड शॉक एंड फटिक फैक्टर फॉर टॉर्शन इज गिवन के टी ओके के इज द टॉर्शनल टिपनेस ओके ऑफ द शाफ्ट दिस इज गिवन न्यूटन मीटर पर रेडियन ओके ये पे आव गिवन डिग्री देन कन्वर्ट इन टू द रेडियन एन एफ इज द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी राइट बेस्ड ऑन द इल स्ट्रेंथ इन शेयर दिस इज गिवन एंड टाउ मैक्स मैक्मम शेयर स्ट्रेस इंड्यूस इन द शाफ्ट दिस इज गिवन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर एस वाई टी टेंसाइल इल स्ट्रेंथ इज गिवन ऑफ द शाफ्ट मटेरियल न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर एस एस वाई एल स्ट्रेंथ इन शेयर फॉर द शाफ्ट मटेरियल दिस इज ऑल्सो गिवन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर एंड जी इज द मॉडुलस ऑफ रेजिडिटी ऑफ द गिवन मटेरियल दिस इज ऑल्सो गिवन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ओके बिफोर गोइंग ऑन द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू शूड नो द मीनिंग ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी नोटेशन ओके देन फर्स्ट ऑप्टिमम डिजाइन फॉर मिनिमाइजिंग वेट this is our aim optimum design for minimizing the weight how to do this first you know the primary design equation okay the most significant undesirable effect to be minimized is the weight of the shaft and given by w is equal to we know the formula we have seen already w is equal to rho into g into pi by 4 d square l rho into g into a into l this is the actual formula we have putting the area is equal to pi by 4 into d square okay then again we can simplify that pi divided by 4 g rho d square l this is the equation number a this is the primary design equation and secondary design equation it is also called as a subsidiary design equation the torsional stiffness for the shaft is given by torsional we have seen the formula stiffness of the shaft is given by k is equal to g into j divided by l okay again you know that uh, j is equal to what pi by 32 into d square by l d raised to 4 by l okay or k is equal to you can write pi into g d raised to 4 divided by 32 l right then maximum shear stress induced in the uh, shaft is given by tau max value is equal to 16 kt divided by pi d cube this is the equation number c this is the two equations primary design equation and secondary design equation the equation b and c is the subsidiary design equation then third is a limit equation to write limit equation this is in less than or equal to or you will get the symbol greater than tau max is less than or equal to ssy divided by nf we know that okay then tau max is equal to we can write uh, less than or equal to 0.5 syt divided by nf again okay this is the equation number d this is the limit equation once you have written that three equation then you should classification of that parameters then how to classification of that parameters on which basis there uh, there we have seen one table there are some uh, values uh, notations we are divided or classified that parameters in that table first is a functional requirement parameter okay functional requirement parameter which is the functional requirement parameter first is a specified second is a limited third is a uu we have seen 
unspecified and unlimited okay you oblique you okay specified limited unspecified and unlimited then functional requirement parameters there is a t is there torque to be transmitted by the shaft kt uh, there is a again k not kt k is there k is the torsional stiffness of the shaft and nf nf is the factor of safety this is coming under the functional requirement parameter undesirable effect parameter okay under specified their undesirable parameter is kt combined shock and fatigue factor to the torsion limited limited is a tau max okay tau max we have seen in the limiting equation and unspecified and unlimited is w weight of the shaft and third is a geometrical parameter this is geometrical parameter coming uh, under unspecified and unlimited this is the diameter and length of the shaft length of the shaft and last is a material parameter this material parameter is a p okay uh, sorry rho is there density is there g is modulus of density is there sorry modulus of zdt is there and syt is there syt is there tensile yield strength a given shaft okay once you have classified that parameter the next step is a combine sd with pd this is very simple once you have classified that parameter then you can write the combine sd with pd how to write that combine sd with pd we have seen the pd equation in equation number a and uh, sd equation in the equation number b by eliminating the unspecified and unlimited parameter l we can write w is equal to pi g divided by 4 rho d square into pi g d raised to 4 divided by 32 k okay you can solve this equation then you will get the pi square g divided by 120 k rho into g into d raised to 6 this is the combined equation again you should write sd is combined with pd there are two sd equation okay then eliminating the again unspecified and unlimited parameter which is the unspecified and unlimited parameter here we have seen in that table there are two only d and l is there d and l we want to the eliminate d is there then you will get the w is equal to 2g kt square t square rho g divided by k into tau square max this is the develop pd equation okay it is seen that the effect of limit equation d can be included in the develop pd therefore this is the case of the normal specification then combine the limit equation with pd equation step number six how to combine the next step is include the effect of the limit equation in develop pd w is uh, directly proportional to one divided by tau max square hence for minimizing the w the parameter tau max c should be placed at the upper limit 0.5 syt divided by nf substituting the limit value tau max equation f can be written as see the equation number f w is equal to you will get this equation if you are putting the all the value in that w is equal to then you will get the 27660.743 into pg divided by syt bracket square okay this is the equation number g this is the final pd in order to minimize the w the material selection factor rho g divided by syt square should be minimum then selection of the material next step the material selection factor rho g divided by syt square okay 
is calculated for all the available material see the table they are this table okay and the material with the lowest value of rho g divided by s y t square will be selected okay where is this value uh, this value check that in table in the last column which is the minimum value 3.1 is there second row 3.3 .3 is there then third row 0 0.2883 and last is a 3 means third row titanium alloy having the minimum value of the material selection factor right therefore the material selection factor is titanium alloy with 0 0.2883 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay then next step once you have find out then determination of eliminating the parameters which parameter you will eliminate eliminate the parameter d can be determined by using the sde we have seen the equation number c substituting the limiting value of tau max in equation c 0 0.5 syt divided by nf is equal to 16 t into t divided by pi d cube okay for titanium molide you will get the d is equal to 25.8 mm the eliminating parameter again which is the eliminating parameter there are two parameter d and l parameter again if you are eliminating l by determining using the sd in b equation then you will get the l is equal to 345.86 mm and this is the step number eight you should remember the steps and follow that steps you can easily remember then minimum weight of the shaft how to calculate the minimum weight of the shaft see from equation g w is equal to we have that value okay but we have calculated here the titanium alloy material selected this is the given minimum value you should put in that equation you will get the w is equal to 7.9746 newton last uh, step is there optimum design for minimizing material cost okay we know that uh, the primary design equation in this primary design equation the most significant undesirable effect to the minimize is the material cost of the shaft and this value is given by cm cm is the weight of the shaft into cost per unit weight for the shaft material is wc cm is equal to wc c is the cost per unit weight for the shaft material is rs per n okay substituting equation g in equation h we get cm is equal to 27660.743 c rho g divided by s y t square this is the equation number i this is the final pde in order to minimize the material cost okay with the help of material selection factor should be minimum second the secondary design equation and limit equation remains the same as used in the first part third is a selection of the material we have seen again the material selection factor c rho g divided by s y t square is calculated for all available material and the material with the lowest value of is selected check that which is the lowest value this 23.688 into 10 raised to minus 3 30.24 into 10 raised to minus 3 43.242 into 10 raised to minus 3 and 30.6 into 10 raised to minus 3 alloy steel having the minimum value with the help of that you can select the material check that alloy steel and next is the determinant uh, determination of eliminating parameters you have seen uh, in the equation number c okay we have to check that conditions 0 0.5 syt divided by nf is equal to 16 ktdt divided by pi d cube syt for the alloy steel is 450 into 10 raised to 6 if you are putting that value then you will get the diameter d is equal to 31.25 
then again you should eliminate the l we determine the using the secondary design equation secondary design equation equation number b you will get the l is equal to 1488.8 mm and last is a minimize material cost cm is equal to 27660.743 into bracket c rho g divided by syt square if you are putting all the value then you will get the minimized material cost 655.22 rs okay guys similar way uh, you will get the different numericals in the examination for the 10 marks very simple you should remember the only steps okay today we'll stop here